Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney Plus and animation. Yes. And ridiculous rumors about Disney Plus and uh, live action adaptations of anime that nobody asked for. Yeah, I heard this earlier. I guess it started at the end of January that supposedly maybe because they bought Fox, there's going to be a Dragon Ball Z uh, live action television show. Oh, God. OK, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how Disney Plus is actually uh, kind of failing in the one area I expected them to excel at, which mm -hmm. is original animation. Yeah. Um, so everybody else is going to be, you know, this is going to be kind of a long video, but everybody else is sort of uh, lapping Disney in animation when that is what Disney was known for. Right. And now they're known for uh, harebrained ideas and, and uh, remakes of animated uh, classics and live action and cheap quills nobody asked for. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty sad. So before we get into it, please subscribe. If you haven't done so already, we're over 100,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Yes, thanks. All right. So this is too stupid to be real yeah i can't i can't think it's true now granted this was also when i heard about it first where i looked into it it was the end of january it started they that was before the park shut down that was before they started you know cutting all kinds of shows and things but the, the apparent rumor was that they were going to take dragon ball z into a live action show because you know what do people like they like anime they like manga i know what do we have rights to dragon ball z this is, God, I hope this is not true. This is coming from We Got This Covered, which is very hit or miss, but they said the source that's telling them they're actually considering a Dragon Ball live action series is the same one that told them about the dumbass Bambi idea and the dumbass Robin Hood idea. Yes, yeah, so they said they were doing. And they uh, both turned out to be true. And they're saying it's early in development and is gonna focus on Vegeta. Um, so oh my God. I can't. Uh, oh my god, I can't. So apparently it'll tie into the live action movies that Disney's working on as well, with the series said to be a spin-off of source with doing live action movies. What the hell? I they can't. are? I didn't even know they were doing Disney rumored to be developing uh, a cinematic action. universe, which oh, I, I, I told no. you about that. Hell no. No. God, no, no, don't, no, no. don't touch Sailor Moon. I mean it's bad enough you're gonna finger the Dragon Balls. Do not touch Sailor Moon. Don't they remember how this went before? I never even watched it. I don't think anybody did. I don't did. think I could. I couldn't bring myself to do it, guys. I just, I don't, I don't understand what they're thinking. And I'm thinking this is going to be Disney-fied. So this will be like <laughs> high school musical characters. Oh my God. It cosplaying as Dragon Ball characters. Well, this picture is just the best. I don't know who did this, but that's beautiful. I, I you know, I actually might watch a Dragon Ball movie with, with the rock in it. Um, <laughs> can't get past that it's too funny yeah so i just think it's it's bullshit uh, if they're even gonna do this uh we've got people are excited how the hell could this you is fake news yeah it's, it's fox who has the distribution rights i don't think it's true either. this can't be true this cannot yeah be... I, so the comments even like it's not true i i don't see how it's true so why why are people believing this bullshit because disney likes to appropriate everything so that's probably why uh they, they're yeah they're believing this bullshit because disney has made some really bullshit moves in regards to uh, their their own beloved franchises. They bought Fox. We know they're trying to reboot a bunch of stuff. They're going to strip alone. mine it. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do that. There's several other properties. They're going to they're going to turn into like a TV series for Disney Plus. Yeah, and you know they're going to do it because they're hard up for content for Disney Plus. Obviously, if you're going to Robin Hood and you're going to do a CGI remake of Robin Hood, I know. I just. I mean, I like Robin Hood for what it is, but that was kind of, that's kind of like, you know, really scraping the bottom of the barrel yeah. at this point. Well, no, now, now there's talk that they're doing, uh, they're, they're going to do Atlantis, which people talked about before. No. Um, and they're supposed to be doing Hercules as a live action because they did a the musical of it. I'm waiting for Home on the Range without yeah. Roseanne Barr. They won't allow Roseanne Barr. Uh, Brother yeah. Bear. Brother Bear. Oh, God, just stop it. See, this is what this is what is so frustrating. We are Disney fans. People think we're not, but we love Disney when Disney actually was the most creative studio. You know, when they were the ones who were innovating, um, when they were always bringing the boom, and now they're just a joke. It's a joke. When they make new things, they're good at it. It's just that they just don't want to spend the money or the time. 
to make new things. Yeah, so what we're really gonna talk about here is the fact that Disney, what they're known for, what built the Disney empire was animation. And they're getting their asses kicked. Yeah, they're getting out Disney'd. They're, Disney is getting out Disney'd by Netflix currently and also HBO Max, which is bringing the boom. Now, Disney wants to be a player in the streaming wars and they've done okay with Disney Plus, right? But a lot of the shows are on hold because they're live action. Right. Um, even though that that's one thing that they're saying on Deadline is we're going to see more animated stuff because, you know, they can still produce animated right. series. They are still currently at producing animated stuff. Right, right. Um, but it seems like Disney's been kind of betting on the wrong horses here. Like Klaus was... Uh, it amazing. Was, it was amazing. It was groundbreaking and it was amazing. It, it was it was done extremely well. They did new things and innovated what something Disney hasn't done for a while. And it deserved the award, the Academy Award that I didn't get. And they gave it to Toy Story 4. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Like, what? Just Pixar shows up and they just hand them the Academy Award. Doesn't matter what it is. You know, they just hand the Academy Award. Klaus was an amazing movie, and a lot of media outlets are starting to realize that, uh, you know, it's so funny because Disney was like, oh, well, we do Disney magic better than anybody else, and now we've got a streaming platform. No, I think Disney is going to get out magicked by Netflix and HBO Max. So, uh, you know, people have been calling this out. There are some other, we're going to talk about some of the Netflix uh, pro shows coming out here. But, um, you know, again, everybody, what they know Disney for now is live action remakes. Yep. That's all they type. Live action remakes, sequels nobody asked for, uh, you know, sequels to dead franchises that should stay dead, zombie franchises. I mean, they launch with a live action Lady and the Tramp. On Everybody Disney says Pro it wasn't very good. I haven't even bothered watching it. I haven't either, but from my understanding, it's not very good. I mean, nobody asked for this. Nobody. Did anybody ask for a live action Mulan? Nope. With, that, with all the changes they're going to make to it? Yeah, I, I don't think so. So that's, they become a joke. I mean, Disney has become a joke. And the thing is, is they're, a car, they're pulling carbon copies of much, much better original animated mm -hmm. films. You know, I mean, really god awful copies. And I, I, I hate to say it, but I actually think we we're better off with Eisner when he was doing the cheap pulls because mm -hmm. you could ignore those or like direct to video, whatever. You don't pay any they attention to them. They still make sure they put the effort into new new things for the theaters. Yeah. But Lilo and Stitch, they're going to do that one. Don't. So it's going to be live action Lilo and what a CG Stitch. That is going to be absolutely horrifying. Yes. And she's not going to crawl into the washing machine either. No. Because no, we can't bad. have that because that had to get edited out on Disney. So Disney, I mean... All the way around, um, we're looking at what Disney's doing. They're going back to the well of much better, much better things they produced in the past. And then even on Disney Plus, Disney Plus is getting a rep for being the platform that censors everything. Yeah. Meanwhile, in one month, HBO Max, Warner Media is launching their own streaming service. And damn it, uh, they're bringing the boom. They are. For animation, no pun intended, because Boom does the Adventure Time comics. They're they're getting the gang back together for another season of Adventure Time. Okay, that's a big well, deal. Well, it's up to debate on who wants that or not. Well, <laughs> the ending was weird. If you go back and look, you can actually see me and Squid King did a review of uh, Adventure Time, the last episode, and he was disappointed. Somebody who grew up with it, mm -hmm. he was disappointed. And he had how watched every episode up to the ending just to be ready to go for the ending because he loved it. Yeah. And then the ending, he was like, what the hell? But that was not an ending. It was yeah. just like, what was that? So they're getting a, a redo, and uh, people are excited about this. They know this is going to bring eyeballs. Uh, they're getting Studio Ghibli films mm -hmm. on HBO Max, you know. And Netflix is getting them over in, like, the UK. Yeah, so, again, Disney. This Studio Ghibli should have been, could have been, on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, because Disney used to have the, yes. the rights to it. They were Disney was the one who was distributing it in the United States. Right, but instead, they're doing live-action remakes that nobody asked for. People would go bonkers if they put the Ghibli films mm -hmm. on Disney+. Plus. But you know they'd want to censor them. Or somehow, because, you know, it's Disney+. Plus. Uh, they're, they're doing new Warner Brothers cartoons, and I was so skeptical, and by God, they actually look pretty good. That's good. I watched the trailer, I'm like, oh my God, this might not suck. Isn't it sad that anytime you, you hear something that was an established IP re being redone in this day and age, immediately you're worried for it? Yeah. Because they've, they've ruined so many things? Yeah, I was like, this is going to be balls. You cannot do new... You cannot do new uh, Looney Tunes current year and I was like this might not be terrible 
you know, I guess anything better than not terrible anymore. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm like, wow, that's actually pretty good. It wasn't terrible. I'm but, sorry. I'm distracted by the clear, like clearly built in CG right here. It's distracting me. Yeah. Okay. That that's the one, the one nitpick. And I have to see the shorts. I watched the trailer and I guess my thing is it looks like it was really cool. They're using bugs with the yellow gloves, like the original bugs design. I thought that was cool, but there are parts of it that look very computery. And, um, you know, it looks like it was done in Tomb Boom or something. Mm -hmm. And I almost wish they would have, like, could you just throw some some film grain on that or something just to make it look even more like the yeah. original shorts? I mean, you know? the, the, the foreground characters look like they were like almost like cells, but the background looks it looks very um, in places. Some places work really well. Other places yeah. it looks like it's, it's a little off-putting. But, you know, at least maybe they're going for character and story. Yeah, it actually doesn't look terrible. I don't know. It might it might be terrible, but I hope it's not. <laughs> I really hope it's not. Um, again, Netflix. Uh, we have to watch this. Everybody's talking about how good this movie is. Uh, the Willoughby's. They're saying it's really, really good, and they use CGI. Again, doing new things that Disney would have done mm -hmm. 10 or 20 years ago. They're using CGI to create what looks like claymation. Yeah, almost. to push the envelope. See what they can do. Yeah, and the way that the characters move, uh, the way the hair is, it looks like it's yarn. Uh, it looks like it's stop motion, but it's not. It's actually CGI, the same way that they use CGI to uh, beef up the 2D animation in Klaus. And they're experimenting, and Disney's not doing it anymore. And look what else Netflix is getting. Yep. This is a big that one. That one's a big one. It's so good. If you haven't seen it, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, they're getting it. It's an amazing show. I, again, this is another one that, you know, I, I, Disney wouldn't have done it because it is a competitor of Netflix, which is kind of weird because they're doing a Viacom CBS streaming thing. But it just shows how important this series is to Netflix that they're willing to throw big bucks to get Avatar because Avatar is one of the best animated series of the last... 10 or 15 it's, it's years. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yeah. Uh, Korra, I got bored. But... Yeah, I'm sorry. I made it, We made one one season of Korra and we were like, eh. I mean, they, Korra was too stiff. She acted like she had a stick up her butt and, and just didn't make her fun to me. Yeah, but I mean, obviously they're probably preparing for the uh, ill-conceived live action uh, Last Airbender series. You know, but this is a, this is one of our family's favorite shows. This is the show that we watched as a family. This and Doctor Who. Yep. Uh, for about two years, like we just watched this show every night. It was either this or Doctor Who. Sometimes a little bit of both. Yeah, uh, they every, loved it. It was like our family night thing. Yeah, and uh, it's a good show. They still watch it. We have it on Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. We have it on Blu-ray. Uh, physical copies. And they have a steel book of it right they now do. too. They do. Um, amazing show. It's coming to Netflix because they know animation is popular um they just expanded their commitment to anime we talked about this before that netflix is going all in on anime and notice how they mentioned they are expanding it out to six japanese creators to develop new originals yeah they're actually getting clamp um they're getting some of these creators have done let's see here uh yeah clamp uh mobile suit gundam thunderbolt goth yeah so this is this is good so it's not like they're like oh let's do it's not like elation yeah let's do I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm not gonna chance <laughs> words it's not elation so they're actually yeah and again you know for all the people who are like warner would never roll crunchy roll into hbo max maybe not right away but netflix is really going all in on anime and that's just a little tiny part of what they do. Right. And it's going to be it's going to be harder for HBO Max to compete when they're having their stuff separated. So yeah. they're going to eventually roll it in. I just I don't see any other way. Yeah, I, eventually it might not happen right away. But I, I think that the great conjunction is is coming. Um, have to check this out. I've heard mixed things. But again, it shows how important animation is. They went and got the uh, Adventure Time. I was going to say, that's definitely Adventure Time. Yeah, the Adventure Time showrunner, Pendleton Ward, he's doing another an adult show on Netflix. Uh, you know, Netflix and HBO Max, I'm excited about the animation coming there. But Disney, you got Dragon Ball live action? Well, that's just a rumor, and I'm hoping it's not a true one, because I, I just don't, I can't see them doing it. Well, and even if it was rumor before, I, I'm sure they aren't going to do it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, no. There's no way. Um, so I think that's just a laughable rumor. <laughs> that is a laughable rumor. But it did open up a conversation of like why. I mean, that just says everything, right? That the fact that people could believe that Disney would be harebrained enough to create a live action Dragon Ball series instead of bringing anime or trying to do more original action animation. I mean, remember when Jetix was the thing? I do remember Jetix. Jetix was awesome. Jetix had all kinds of cool stuff. Squid King grew up watching Jetix. 
and uh, you know we're watching you know the Disney Power Rangers, but he loved SPD, and uh, they had all kinds of really cool stuff on Jetix, and then now they're just completely out of it. Look, Netflix, Pokemon's leaving Disney XD, which was Jetix. Yeah, why are they all pulling? Because there's got to be a reason, guys. It's going to Netflix. Yeah, everybody's so, going to Netflix. Disney's left with a lot of the stuff that's just Disney or whatever they can, you know, mine from what they've, you know, assimilated. And it, it, I just don't, I don't see it. And, and I saw an article earlier uh, from The Motley Fool. Of course, they have to, you know, show for Disney like they usually do. And in the article, um, the one person was talking about, well, the reasons that, you know, they're, that streaming could help them and how, you know, unlike Netflix, you know, Netflix has to throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. Disney has all this content. Disney has a lot of content that was old content. They launched with like a couple new things and that's it. And what they've been bringing to the table hasn't been very good and hasn't gotten a lot of really good reviews. That Stargirl didn't get fantastic reviews. That one kid about that, that Timmy failure or whatever, that didn't get a lot of good reviews. Um, they're, they're not bringing the boom that they should be bringing and so no i do not think they're going to ultimately beat netflix or hbo max um they might i think they'll gain in popularity as they do get their marvel shows and their star wars shows eventually i think they'll eventually that'll actually leverage it a little more but that's not coming for like a while now guys especially now since we have the the shutdowns they're not coming for a long time yeah i think disney bet on the wrong horse because i think honestly disney i would have been more impressed now they have like the pixar shorts and stuff like that I would have been more impressed if Disney at launch was like, look at all these new Disney animated series that we have, you know? Um, now, that's not to say that Disney isn't doing well with animation because uh, DuckTales 2017 is very yeah, good. Yeah, they did a great job with that. Uh, I liked Owl House. Mm -hmm. Owl House is also very good. But they're also canceling a lot of their shows, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, I just look at that. It's like, okay, DuckTales is cool and Owl House is cool. And Owl House is cool because it's, it's its own thing. It's something yeah. new. It's something, you know, exciting. That's what made it stand out. And, you know, Disney kind of doubles down on what they already have. They always, well, they're established IP. Yeah, but they've established that everybody's seen it. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, for all the, you know, throwing the spaghetti against the wall, Netflix doubled their profits last quarter without uh, doubling the revenue. And that was, you know, we weren't fully into the shutdown either. And I think, you know, Netflix knows, like, people are, they know what's coming. They're like, we got to ramp up our animation. We got to ramp up our movies. We got to... You know, and uh, this is literally all they do is stream and make mm -hmm. content. Whereas Disney is trying to juggle a whole bunch of things. Right, right. And they spread themselves too thin. I mean, I want Disney, I want them to go back like 20 years and be like, we just make really good content mm -hmm. in theme parks. Yeah. We don't try to own the world. That's you know? just it. Yeah, do what you do, but do what you do what you do best and stick to it. I mean, like Owl House is definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Um, we and I mean they are making new movies. We got Onward, which. Okay. I haven't even bothered it watching it. It sounds yet. like, you know, it, it seems, and you said this before, the people said it too, it felt more like a, a DreamWorks than it did yeah. uh, a Disney. Yeah. But they have that, they have Soul coming. Soul looks um, good. They I, have I, Ray and the Last Dragon coming. So they get, yeah, so they do get like, you know, some some neat new things in there. But then they always, you know, something does well. Toy Story 4000, you know? It's just, it's, 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 yeah. it's a, best of times the worst of times over there. yeah it's just yeah and then i get they gotta keep the money flowing because the thing is is they got this big ass kingdom they gotta take care of so now they have to do sequels now they can't take chances now they gotta go back to the same well over and over again because they gotta make the investors happy mm -hmm. and uh you know disney's lost a lot of its its spark but you know, meanwhile, really like Klaus was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. Klaus, if you want to see something that is, is innovation and amazing and done right, Klaus. Same for the Willoughby's. What we're, we haven't seen the Willoughby's, but we're hearing I, it's, it's you know, innovation done right. I want to check it out this week. I'm, I'm really, I saw the trailer for it. I'm like, yeah, I'm interested. They're out Disneying Disney. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, which is sad. Again, we're not happy about it. We're just saying like, you want to start looking for, for where Disney came off the rails and, and this is where it was at. They they stopped doing what they did best. Instead, they tried to go chase uh, building an empire. And now it's crumbling. They keep investing in companies, the tech companies and stuff to basically take them, take them over so they can use their tech to, to yeah. put and stuff instead of in-house creating things. Um, Imagineers often are complaining that they're getting their hands tied when it comes to things they wanted to do because of budget cuts, uh, probably cheap heck. Uh, it's just, they can't do what they excelled at because they're not, they're not given the, the, they're not given the money or the um, opportunities to do what they used to do. Yeah, they're assimilators, not innovators. And I think they really need somebody in charge of Disney who was uh, comes from a creative background. Yeah. Because there's that fire is not there. 
it's not there. It hasn't been there in a long time. So they just, you know, acquire other people's dreams. And then do it wrong. And do it wrong, you know, and it doesn't work. Um, this is why everybody's leaving. These guys, this guy, uh, Sergio, he used to work for, he used to work for Disney and he, he bailed. Don and, Bluth did too. Yeah, Don Bluth did too. So did Tim Burton. Yeah. So. Yeah. So there's a reason they all leave. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. So, all right, we got to wrap this up. Yep. Hope to God that Dragon Ball rumor is not true. I don't think uh, it is. I don't think it is either, but uh, we put it out there because it's a funny idea. I thought it was hilarious. Um, so we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye. Thinking about printing your own comic books, graphic novel, or manga? We recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free. That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's printninja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.